taken off on our first trip of the season. It'll be short, five days on the St. Croix River. I'm reading, meeting uh, Back Roads Brenton today, and uh, we're going to talk about the boat. So I'll do just a little filming here to start off the season. Right now, I'll just scout through the security gate. It's kind of cool, breezy, which uh, I don't like the breeze, but the temperatures are fine for working. I prefer it to be on the cool side rather than hot because it makes it unpleasant. Hopefully, the I see one of the tires seemed to be a little bit low, but it may have been partly because of the way it was setting there on the ramp too. So we'll see when we get on level going. But I think I need to add some air to the tires. Just coming into a small little village here uh, nearby where I usually store the boat. Nice secure storage over here. Uh, locked and secure gates makes it a safe place to keep it. It was supposed to be more sunny today, cloudy later this afternoon, but uh, I have hardly any uh, sun this morning. Just a really high overcast. Get back on the highway and then we'll go through uh, Stillwater, Minnesota on our way to William O'Brien Park. I think I'm behind a little bit here. I think I should be at the park at uh, 1030 or sometime around there. I can't remember now what it was. But I think I'm running about a half hour late. Just takes a lot of time getting started for the first uh, trip of the year. And I probably should have checked all my tires for air pressure, but I didn't take it uh, over to Homestead to, to do that. Uh, I will do it for the longer trip that's coming up later in the summer. So right now, we'll just uh, cross this bridge, new a few years ago, replace the uh, the old lift bridge in town. One thing about it is this day is kind of uh, not too pleasing to the eye, so maybe it'll make for fewer people out on the water. There's coming into the city here. Some of the river boats that go up and down. And, uh, my daughter was married on one of those. You see the lift bridge out there. Historical town, the original capital of Minnesota, I should say the first capital, and uh, then they moved it to St. Paul later on. But this was uh, because it was a river town, it was a going concern, big logging community back in the day. Looks like they're doing a bunch of construction here. That's where they, the road that came across the bridge. We go up through another town called Marina on St. Croix, just a little village. And then the park is just north of there. So not a very lengthy drive, maybe 20 miles. Everything so far seems to be working. Camera, rear camera on the boat is working. That helps me be able to see behind the boat to see if I've got traffic or somebody that's trying to get by me. Add a flat on this uh, rig on the trailer, right hand tandem, right rear tandem tire. And that was the one that looked a little low to me. I don't know if that new tires uh, didn't get pumped up high enough or what but marine on st croix 10 miles and the park's about uh, another five view beyond that so this st croix boom site that used to be where they obviously collected the logs to go to the mill back in the day forget what year minnesota came became a state but uh, it was one of the later ones. Just have one truck behind me. We're just kind of following along the river here right now. You can see a little bit of the river maybe down below there to the right. But beautiful spring day.
I hope it goes smoothly on the launch. And I remember everything. I already put the plug in, so I make sure I don't forget that. That's always a big concern. I don't know why, but the engine seems to have a lot more power. Uh, it's probably just because it's a cool day, I guess, and I don't have the AC on. So it's got a little more juice. All right, we're just coming up on the park. William O'Brien State Park. Going down to the launch area. The last time I was here, this road was a little bit rough. So let's see how it looks. Yeah, there's some rough spots there again. So we got to be careful there. We go down a steep hill kind of through a picnic area and then we get to the launch area. I'd be curious to see how many boats are down here if, or if any. Still a fair current in the river but shouldn't be too uh, bad. I expect a few fishermen will be out. But. Well, surprise, surprise. It looks like they've got something closed there, so we'll have to go up here and see what we got. Brenton, thanks for coming down and doing the interview. Absolutely. And we hope that we'll see more of your videos online as well. So thanks for the hand. You can see the mud here around the, the boat. It's been a little tough to get launched here. Uh, without Brenton, I think it would have been difficult, so I appreciate his help. We're just leaving uh, William O'Brien Park. We're just going on to, down the kind of a narrow channel out to the main river. So far it seems to be pretty deep because of the flooding. That helps. It's been a full afternoon. It took me quite a while to get launched, uh, boat ready, about an hour and a half and then another half hour or so to do the launching. But uh, Brenton and I talked for a couple of hours actually. So it took a while before we got time to get around to getting the boat in the water and then there's no dock here, so it's difficult. So here we go with the, trying to talk with me. I can't keep my camera f up, up. I'm trying to stay, keep myself from going aground here. Got a little sun. I'm going to try to go up into some backwaters here and see if I can find a place to anchor. I don't want to go very far today. I'm kind of worn out. With, been up since 4:30 this morning. And gets to be a bit long. Four and a half feet. So I'm going to try to cut through this pass. I don't know if I can do that, but I'm going to try it. When we get out here, I'll flip it around here so you can see. That's the main river out there that you can see ahead of us. You can see some debris piled up by that tree, so a little bit of a sign of the flooding that took place. Hopefully the mic is picking up the video. Uh, Brenton and I had a little prayer before we took off and uh, just to put a blessing on the trip. And our trips to, that we both do, it's kind of fun to meet up with a, another guy that enjoys the sort of thing that we're doing here. So, getting out on the water on a shanty boat.
haven't been talking too much because I was we're going through a real shallow area here and I got to pay attention to where I'm going. It seemed like it was plenty deep there though. So we'll get because we're about the shallowest I saw was about eight feet. And then we're going to go up into this sh shallow bay here. I think we can't find a place to anchor. It's a little shallower there, about six feet. Get out of the current, and I won't need to worry about that so much. The current doesn't seem to be too bad, though. All right, let's see what we can find up in here. It's getting shallow fast. Five feet here now. further. I think I'm going to pull in here and try this. See that right there is where I'm going to go, where the camera is aimed. You tie up to these two trees. All right, we're backing up. So we'll try down here ways. Uh, We'll just turns out the uh, soil has just soaked up all that water and it hasn't been down for that long. So the bank there hadn't dried out. A little bit wet. Too wet. So we'll just anchor. Just trying to get down here a ways. So we're behind kind of behind the bluffs and protected. Eight feet here. So it's plenty deep. It looks like pretty much a grassy bottom. And this is where I'm going to go. Although I could go around the corner a little bit, I guess. And try that. I'm kind of hungry. I should have had something.
Okay. You can see where I'm at. I'll just wheel you around here so you can see my site. It's kind of a quiet little bay in here. Just at a real narrow place here where I've put the anchor down. Pretty peaceful, just a little strip of land there. You can see water through there. That's just uh, part of the same channel that I'm on here. But it's uh, on the other side of that little isthmus. Hello folks, I'm sitting on the aft deck here just enjoying the quiet of the evening. I finished dinner about a half hour, 45 minutes ago, I guess. And so I'm just sitting here enjoying the uh, bird calls and looking for some wildlife that might come through the area, although it's pretty wet. Uh, the only thing I would expect maybe is some deer because there's a lot of fresh green grass around here. Anyway, I've had a little interview with uh, Back Roads uh, and Backwaters uh, Brenton. I don't know if I had the name of his site uh, correct, but uh, anyway, he was down to interview me uh, after I brought the boat down to William O'Brien State Park here, uh, about a mile to the west. Anyway, uh, we talked for quite a while, uh, and then I finally launched about four o'clock, I guess it was, four in the afternoon, and then headed over just to a, a close by anchorage. So I went up into a oxbow lake, I guess is what it's called, and uh, I went up in there as far as I could not as far as I could go, but I went to a place where I was protected from the wind a little bit because it was blowing a little bit. I figured it would be quiet this evening, although I was surprised. About 20, 30 minutes ago, there was a couple that come walking down with their dog through some rocks and stuff into the water, and that was about it. Then they went back up the hill. I don't know if they live there or what, but kind of surprised me. Uh, didn't expect to see anybody down here tonight, but... Uh, Fortunately, no fishing boats. It's been real quiet other than that couple. And um, so I'm just here enjoying the evening. Uh, like I said, I'm looking for some wildlife, but I'm not sure I'm gonna see any. Kind of getting a sense of what it might do for uh, uh, rain tomorrow or the next day. There's supposed to be some rain coming. And I failed in, to uh, bring my windshield windshields for the bimini. So I have no dodger essentially for the boat. Uh, so if it rains, I'm gonna get wet if I try to move. So I may be restricted uh, when I can move, but we'll see. Uh, the plan, I was gonna go up the uh, river at least uh, four or five miles and find another spot and uh, then be within reach of back here on Saturday for my daughter and her husband and my grandson will come out and we'll take a little ride and have a cook out there at William O'Brien Park. So that's the plan. Uh, this is the first trip of the year. Nothing extensive. I'm only going to be out for about five days. I've got some volunteer work that I do with a group called Alpha. So I'll do that. Um, I've got to be back uh, Monday. So I just wanted to get out, try the new autopilot, uh, do some testing, check out the VHF, make sure that's working. Just generally kind of get a rundown on the boat so that I'm prepared for the larger trip that's coming up in late June. I can't remember the exact date, but it's the last week or so of June and then a couple of weeks into July up to Lake Nipigon, which is straight north of Lake Superior. So that's the plan during that period of time. So this trip is kind of a test to make sure everything's working before I go off on that long trip, because that'll be uh, extensive. And also a very, could be a test of the boat. Uh, I'm hoping that I don't get into adverse conditions because that's big water. Uh, it's more open than Tomogamy and some of the other places I've gone. So I've got to be a little careful up there or I could get caught. This boat cannot handle any big waves. Anyway, that's the plan. And uh, I haven't seen anything. I thought I might see some eagles. There should be bald eagles along this river, but I'm not seeing anything uh, since I got here. And I've been here about, oh, at least a couple hours now. Anyway, we'll talk to you more tomorrow after we get a, a good test of some other things on the boat. And we'll check back with you then. All right. There's a little small boat that went by, about a 14-foot aluminum, and three people in it fishing, I suppose. I'll pan around again.
But here it shows a little bit the area that I'm in. It gives you an idea where I'm anchored. Right in that area is where I saw the weasel earlier. Tried to get a picture, couldn't get him. So that's uh, kind of an overview of the spot I'm in for this evening. And again, that's the little island that I'm anchored off from. Scoop it down here, you can see the top of the boat. I wasn't, I was hoping I wouldn't get interrupted, but so far I've had one couple come down and now one small fishing boat. So more activity than I anticipated. Here's a, what the post looks like if I put it out on the 45 degree angle. It seems to work okay. So if I'm heading down the river, that's what the view would be. We'll give that a try in the future and see how that works out. That's enough for tonight.